where we're trying to collect together the memories of people who've been guiding throughout the last 100 years. And here in Cumbria North we're very fortunate because we've got several members who've held very prominent positions in guiding, not only in the county but in the northwest of England and at UK level. And some of these ladies are actually coming today to tell today's Brownies and Guides all about what they've done in guiding over the last 100 years and it's a truly wonderful opportunity for people to share memories, to enthuse our young girls about what happened in the past and to give them the encouragement to go on in the future. I think I'm going to interview the older people who used to go to guides. How many years have you been a guide? Um, I think it's a year or a year and a bit now. And I was at Brownies for a few years. Yeah. I am a Brownie. We're going to be a reporter and ask the older people what it was like to be in the Brownies before us. Half past six on Friday the 22nd of July in 1960 as part of the celebrations, the Golden Jubilee celebrations, a party of about 20 Queens and First Class Guides from Cumberland, as it was then, Luxembourg, boarded a bus for London. And it took us 12 hours to get to London, across the A66 and down the A1, which in those days was single carriageway. We arrived at a church hall in London and grabbed two or three hours of sleep before going to the service of Thanksgiving and dedication at St Paul's Cathedral. And the guest of honour there was the Princess Royal. And it was an absolutely superb occasion, quite emotional because a lot of people hadn't been outside, not outside, hadn't been to London before. And it was attended by guides from all over the world. <laughs> to look at, which I'm sure will bring memories back. There's um, one of these, <laughs> and one of these, <laughs> and there's one of these, yeah. <laughs> and as Cheryl said, we'll all have fabulous memories of guiding, and I personally can remember the very first time I went to camp. I guided in Liverpool, and we were only two miles outside the city, and we went by bus to, to camp, and it was that wonderful smell of the grass in the tent um, and the wood pigeons cooing and it was just a fabulous experience and I'm sure many of us here today have had those super experiences that we're ready to share. So just to say this was just a opportunity for these ladies to share their memories with each other, to meet up with old friends and to discuss what has happened in guiding over the last 100 years. Yeah. 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 Yeah.